y'all, welcome back. We are doing three fun fall treats today. One punch and two yummies. And before we jump into it, as of this past week, I just hit 5,000 subscribers. I just cannot believe that number. It just seems so huge. So I just wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for all of your support. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. And leave me a comment and say hello or share some of your fall fun yummy treats you like to make this time of year. The first one we're gonna make is a punch, which I'm planning on making at a baby shower that I'm hosting. It's gonna be a really cute woodland themed shower. I'm planning on making a video for that to share with you guys, so stay tuned. I have another one that we're gonna be using crescent rolls and then another one with pecan rolls. Let's go ahead and dig into it. So for our autumn harvest punch, these are all the ingredients we'll need for this recipe. I'll have all the recipes linked down in the description box for you. So right here I'm just showing you at the end I'm going to finish the punch in my pretty glass pitcher, but for mixing together I'm just using my plastic one. I'm adding the apple cider, lemonade, and the orange juice together and mixing them together really well. And then I'll be adding the maple syrup and stirring it in really well. And then we're going to go ahead and cut up our apple slices, our orange, and then we'll be adding our rosemary as well. Once we add all these ingredients together, we'll put it in the fridge and let it chill for about two hours. And then after that, we'll be adding the seltzer water, which is the part that gives it that little bit of a punch, if you will. So um, I just have to say that this is probably one of the most beautiful and flavorful punches I've ever tried. It's just so perfect for this time of year. You definitely won't be disappointed. And I did want to add that it says you can add cinnamon sticks in it as well, which I think is like an amazing idea. Alright, this is all we need for this next one, the apple tart pinwheels, super yummy and not a lot of ingredients. Uh, I've got cinnamon and sugar here, we'll mix together in a minute. So we're going to go ahead and get the oven preheated to 250 and while that's preheating, we're going to take all the pinwheels out of the packaging and put them on a foiled baking sheet. And then after that, I'm taking a smaller spoon, I tried a big one but it was too big, and just pressing down the centers of each pinwheel. Then we're gonna take the apple pie filling and just put a little bit inside of each pinwheel. Uh, not too much, but just enough to kind of fill the, the hole there like a little dish. And then while those are baking for about 15 minutes, I was able to chop up my pecans a little more finely and mix the cinnamon sugar. And then after they've cooled down just a little bit, we're gonna just put a dollop of whipped cream on top of each one. And then after that, we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of the cinnamon sugar and top them off with the pecans. So super simple and, and easy. It really is complete foolproof. Little tip I recommend is to make sure these are served immediately because the whipped cream will melt a little bit if they are warmed up. And then to spray the tin foil so the pinwheels don't stick to the foil. All right, y'all, so we're on our last recipe, and this one is the apple pie bites. Very simple, not a lot of ingredients. The one thing I did have trouble finding in store was the apple pie spice. My mother was actually able to make this at home for me uh, with these ingredients. She doubled the recipe. So I'll have the recipe linked down below for you if you'd like to make your own apple pie spice at home. So we're gonna go ahead and start with preheating the oven to 375 and then lining our cookie sheet with some parchment paper. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and mix together the brown sugar and the apple pie spice and I'm gonna whisk it together uh, with a fork. And then after that, we are gonna go ahead and cut up our apple. It did ask specifically for a Granny Smith apple. So we wanna make sure we have enough slices for all of the crescent rolls. And then we're going to go ahead and lay our crescent rolls out on the parchment paper. Then after that, um, it did say to put the apple slices in some melted butter. And I'm just using a little bit of the extra butter in the bowl to just kind of lightly brush onto each crescent roll before I add the uh, mixture here with the apple pie spice and the brown sugar. 
and then after that we're basically just going to go ahead and put each apple slice at the uh, thicker base uh, end of each crescent roll and then we're going to add our pecans and then you know what's next we're just going to go ahead and roll these up as tight as you can and around each apple slice so it basically makes like its own little miniature apple pie and then once we get all these rolled up we're going to go ahead and put them in the oven for about uh, I believe it was like 12 to 15 minutes it just depends on how browned you like them um, I just kept an eye on them and left them in I think for like a couple minutes longer than what it had suggested and I did brush a little bit of the extra butter on top of each one and sprinkled it with the uh, mixture we had here so that after those are done baking that is it we've got these beautiful and super tasty apple pie bites Well, y'all, that is it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. I had so much fun making these goodies for you guys, and I was just so excited to share them with you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!